action. This is life, it's a fast one. I'm alive as long as I take action. My desire is the will to live life, to have one. Stronger, smarter, faster, every day, hey, day, every day, hey, day. I get stronger, smarter, faster, every day, hey, day. Cause I won't be the last one. You do what you can in this life, you only get one. Take action, this is life, it's a fast one. I'm alive as long as I take action. My desire is the will to live life, to have one. Stronger, smarter, faster, every day, hey, day, every day, hey, day. I get stronger, smarter, faster, every day, hey, day. This is another segment brought to you by Evolution Movement. In this episode, I'll be taking you with me through five days in the Canadian Boreal Forest during the springtime. What I can expect is a lot of thawing out during the day and freezing out at night. Thawing during the day and freezing during the night. I didn't used to do that. All that I have with me is my combat knife, my survival kit, some cordage, and some plastic bags. For food, I have some cream corn and some granola cereal. I'll take you through two days of trekking through the wilderness to get to salvation, my destination, my camp. And I'll show you all about it. It's pretty cool as a matter of fact. So enough of all that. For the next five days, it's you and me. Let's do this. good rest spot. Alright, so I think I have about uh, maybe two more hours left of daylight to day one. And uh, I'm really happy it's springtime. It's so much easier to move in the snow. I don't have to worry about any ice or any snow. I definitely, I didn't even get my boots wet yet. So, or I won't at all, hopefully. But I don't have to dry them later. But one thing that's different that I'm going to have to deal with is uh, the fact that everything unthaws during the day and freezes up at night. Unthaws during the day and freezes up at night. So and I'm going to be uh, subjected to morning dew, uh, which is the water vapor or the moisture that's in the air. When the sun goes down, uh, the particles fall down to the ground. So in the summertime, that's where I get fresh water every morning. With it being wet sometimes, it's going to be slippery out here again. So I'm going to have to watch where I walk, how I walk, Deliberate footing is always best, and um, and for dangers it's mostly animals. So dealing with bears or um, buck, stags. That's why I always keep looking. So even though I'm talking to you, I still have to keep looking. There's no camera crew to uh, to help me out. There's no emergency rescue. This is real life. So it's always good to look behind you and and keep your ears peeled, definitely. So my priorities right now. Uh, or to find somewhere comfortable for me to uh, to set up camp, to sleep, to settle in for the night. And I have two hours left, maybe about, maybe three, depending on the location that I find. But uh, I'm going to set up something pretty simple for myself. Something I'm used to building, which uh, allows me to protect firewood, allows me to suspend me off the ground, uh, keeps me comfortable, protection against the rain, for me, for the wood, and the fire. That's important. See, that's what I mean by it's cold out. Is that even though the sun's out and it seems warm, the air is still cold. So, and everything's going to freeze up tonight. Definitely. Warmth is priority number one. Waterproof roofing is priority number two.
see where I set the camera. I'm not sure where I'm going to be. I like those two trees right there. I'm going to sleep between those. To look about my body length. Yeah. This is definitely going to be camp. Okay, so I found a place I'm going to stay for the night. I feel comfortable here. And it seems like it would be easy to set something up. Uh, a raised bed mat, about a foot and a half off the ground, with some wood underneath to keep it dry just in case it rains. It's been clear skies. I highly doubt it's going to rain, but better safe than sorry because it's freezing temperatures and I just don't have time for that. Once I put the plastic bags over me to create waterproof roofing, it's going to keep not only me, but the wood dry as well. I'll create a little extended roof to keep the fire from getting wet. And this is very easy to set up. It's my standard uh, spring, summer, or fall shelter that protects me, the wood, and the fire from the rain. That's important. So my priorities right now are to get some firewood and to get some wood and some beams to set up my shelter. I need some framing. Also, I need to find some rocks or some moss so I can create a perimeter for my fire so it doesn't spread to the rest of the forest floor. And after that, if I have the time, uh, I'm going to put a wind guard to protect the fire from the wind because there's a lot of wind going over here. I'm on a hillside. I'm not in the vegetation and there's not much vegetation on the side of this hill to, um, to block me from the wind. So I'll have my garbage bags from that. See the wind coming right now? I'm going to have to feel that during freezing temperatures tonight. So I want to lay out on the floor what I have to work with for the next couple of days, all right? So I want you to zoom in here. I have two garbage bags, one plastic sheet, a survival kit, some cordage, natural cordage, some parachute cord, and one combat knife. I also have some granola cereal and a can of cream corn. That's what I have for this episode. So before I collect the, the firewood, I'm going to need some rocks, some stones that I can set up. Well, this one's pretty big, but you know what? I'm going to take it anyway. I need to set up a barrel. All pretty big around here. Trees that have fallen over are perfect for uh, finding rocks. Even in the winter time, remember that because it's springtime, so we're just coming off the of winter. I'm telling you, falling over trees. Okay guys, 
So the, the sun just went down over the horizon, over the mountain line. So all there is is light. There's no heat and I won't have light for very long. I'm almost finished. I got my fire pit here to protect the fire so it doesn't go out. I'm going to create a bed mat here, put some wood underneath. And I've got some firewood. I've got my framing of about 15, 18 poles. So I'm going to get to assembling the camp. But before it gets dark, I have one more preliminary to, to get done, which is to collect some tinder. I need some twigs and sticks that are dry, and I need some tree bark. So I'm going to go get that right now. When I come back, I'm going to assemble the camp, and then we're going to start to get comfortable. All right. So I got two different kinds of tree bark to take care of lighting my fire. So that's plenty of tinder right there. And I started to set up the framing. So I put my bed frame here, and it's a change of plan. Instead of putting it here, I was going to put it level and put wood underneath. I'm going to put wood beside me. And if I had a backpack or anything, I could put gear underneath me. But I'm going to sleep just like this, so this holds most of my body. Um, I'm going to continue setting up camp. I'll take you through it, as a matter of fact. All right. So I don't want to heave this thing and, and have to thread it. So I'm going to keep this in a bundle. And I'm going to tie this over a notch here. All right, so that's the start. Now, I don't want this just to have to hold from one string over here. So I'm going to double it up a little bit and do the same on the other side. Okay, so this is the finished product. Okay, you want to weave it in and out, and I kept the, the the lining close to make sure that it can support more of my weight per square inch. And uh, get a better look at this here. All right, so it works. That holds my weight. So now I'm going to get to the framing and uh, waterproof the roof over me and the fire. I'll show you how to do that. I'll tell you why I'm putting up the waterproof roofing tonight. It's because the sun has gone down over the horizon, it's just light, but you see that different color in the sky? That's not the mountain line. That looks like snow that's going to come tonight. That's miles and miles and miles away building up. So. Gonna get that started. These two poles together. Alright, so I've got the beams up, which is going to be the waterproof roofing. What I've got to do is cut my garbage bag widthways. It's already measured, it should last to about there. This side could probably be a little bit wider, but we're going to see. I'm going to do a little less taping and more doing to make sure that I'm comfortable tonight and uh, to make sure that I can cook and get comfortable, drink some water kick my feet up, you know? Alright, so I got the garbage bag up, leaning downhill here, so that all the water that falls on the garbage bag runs off that way, it doesn't interfere with the fire. It's high enough so that the flames of the fire will not melt the, the plastic of the bag, because it's not winter time, so it shouldn't be that big of a fire anyways, just big enough because it's still cold. So, um, I'm going to light this fire here, I'm going to get comfortable. I put up the plastic sheet in the background here. I'm going to tighten it up to make sure it doesn't rain on me here. Just tighten up up here. So enough of that. Once I'm finished, we'll be able to get comfortable. Get a fire going. Have some uh, cream corn, you know.
way. It's time to light this fire here. Do a job well done. I would like to get comfortable. So that's what we're about to do. Nothing like some fire though. fire feels good. I'm gonna have a snack here. I got some cream corn and I got some granola cereal. Since it's dark I'm not gonna go out and get water right now with the flashlight. The flashlight is really just for filming. I don't use that for myself. My eyes can adapt to the, to the dark until it gets too black. And I don't see the moon tonight. Which means, and I don't see the stars. So that means that there's a lot of clouds out. Which means it could rain or it could snow. Just like the storm that I saw creep up. I'll give you a little science behind the camp. Uh, what I did, I, the first thing I did was collect some rocks. And um, created a perimeter around the fire to make sure that the fire doesn't extend to the rest of the forest. I don't want to create a forest fire. As you can see, I'm very comfortable. I didn't even have a hammock. I just had a string. If you brought a hammock with you, it's a lot of extra string and you probably would just have to bring a backpack just for your hammock. But the string fits right in my cargo pants. I'm just two feet away from the fire to make sure that if any sparks come up it won't burn me. They'll probably land right about here. If they do touch me they fall off and land right here. All my, my firewood is right next to me here. I've waterproofed myself, the firewood, and the fire. So if it rains tonight, or if it snows, which I feel like it will, but if it doesn't, hey, it's all good. But if it does, I'm prepared. And that's what this is all about. Because preparedness is where it always works to your advantage. So the point now, I could easily put this on the fire or you know, create a little tray with some rocks and have a fire going underneath this. But that's going to burn the bottom of this. And I want to use this for as long as I can. And I also don't want to... Uh, drink any impurities or any toxins from the metal because this is not a cooking can it's a storing food can so it, it may even have the lining inside that helps preserve the food so this is strictly a survival situation thing but because I know that I'm gonna heat this up on a rock therefore it doesn't burn this it just turns the metal to the temperature that it needs right, so this is the way I got it set up here I got the tin can that I opened up just a little bit some cream corn in there and I've got the slab of rock that it's cooking on I'm not going to leave it there too long just long enough for it to get warm I don't need to boil it I'll need to boil water tomorrow so there's no need to bring it up to a temperature more than it needs to so here's the thing about cooking at your camp at night okay I've, I've got some weapons with me so I'm not worried about that so I've got my knives my two hand bats, made myself a spear, so I'd work with that, but it's right next to the fire. So the same way that I'm using the fire to mask the scent of me, because I've been sweating out here, so I'm sure I am smell like a nice juicy steak to a cougar or a bear or to some wolves out here. So, and that's also why I don't like to do too much taping at night. Cream corn is ready. Nice. So what I did is I carved me out a uh, an eating tool to help me eat the cream corn. Mm. Oh, I love it out here, man. 
I really do. All right. It's a very comfortable day one. Setting up a good camp. If it rains or snows, it's still all good. So, I'm gonna put on my coat to make sure I don't get cold. So, I got my guard up here. I have another guard over there. And these A-frames act as guards. I got the framing that's guarding me over here. If anything wants to get to me, it's gonna have to make a lot of noise. Then once I wake up, reach for my knife, I'm ready to go. I don't know if you see this now, but it just started snowing. And I'm all protected. I got a fire going though. It's cool. It's all protected. That's springtime for you. Unpredictable weather. Springtime, though. Let me get the blood moving. What a transformation, huh? So it was looking like springtime for real yesterday, and now it's looking back to wintertime. So that's uh, that's weather conditions for you. The clouds are still out. They look like they're here to stay. So it seems like it's going to snow all day today and probably tonight. We'll see what tomorrow looks like. So my agenda right now is uh, to get some water and some wild edibles. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take care of this can. I'm going to use it as a container. I'm going to cut the top of the lid off to preserve the, the circular shape of it. And I'm going to collect water in it and boil water in it. Now, since I'm trying to preserve the lifetime of this can for as long as possible, I'm not going to try to put a fire directly under it, especially considering that there's, that there's probably some food preservative lining in this can. It's not made to boil water in. So I'm going to heat it on the flat rock like I did yesterday. Once I finish cutting out the top here, I'm going to smooth it out on a tree, one of these thick tree trunks, and uh, that should smoothen it out, take take care of any small shavings or any sharp edges. I'm definitely going to try to find some uh, white pine and make pine needle tea though, definitely. So, and once I get that done, I'm going to relax a bit and then uh, pack down the camp and get going. Alright, so the top is off. That didn't take too long. So I'm going to smooth out the edge. So let's go take care of this can, go get some water and some pine needles. So 
So I'm off to go find some water and some some pine needles for some nutrition. I'm gonna make some tea. And that'll be good too because the tea is nice and warm. So it'll, it'll keep my core body temperature inside nice and warm while I'm by the fire. Getting warm on the outside. It's all about the natural stuff. I'm looking for white pine in particular because I like the taste of white pine other than just regular pine needles. I think that's one right there. These are white pine needles. Uh, maybe one more. Uh, maybe one more. All right. Okay. So now it's just about getting some water to boil these guys up. All right, I made it back down to some of the frozen puddles of water that I saw here on the way. And uh, I'm gonna collect some water. Now, it's very cold out here. It's not like I'm in uh, glacier territory or on top of mountains or anything like that. So there could be some water pathogens in here. There aren't many, if there are. And considering the fact that I'm boiling it anyways, I'm gonna hold it down current. Ah, there we go. I gotta get to camp without spilling any of this water. Once I get up there, I can have some tea. Relax, get comfortable for the trek up the hill. Almost there.